Hi, I made my vacuum chamber and... And you thought I wouldn't make it, didn't you? No, no. I'm sorry, I've been watching too much PewDiePie recently. He should probably stop. I mean, what is he, 27 and I'm 40? In some darker corners of the world, he could be my son. Anyways, I almost gave up last time. Now I have made my chamber, but I haven't tested it yet. I thought I should share this moment with everyone. I really made only one change to it. I picked a much thicker base for it. It's made of um, material, white rectangle material. When it comes to material and chemistry, I'm a baboon. But you know, this is much stronger. I think it's made of the same stuff as the kitchen cutting boards. I made a silicon sealing ring the same as I did in my other video. Glue two wire rings on the base, filled between them with silicon and let it dry. Added more silicon, rubbed soap on the glass and put it on silicon and let it dry. Then peeled the glass off. Let's suck the air out with this balloon in chamber and see if the vacuum works well. I'll put a straw beside the balloon so it sucks the air from the top of the balloon too. Hey, I'm already ahead. One of my friends at work said there will be a huge pressure on the glass and it will implode. I calculated the outer surface of the glass is almost 430 square inches or 2770 square centimeter. With atmospheric pressure around 14 pounds per square inches or 1 kilogram per square centimeter, there will be a total of around 6000 pounds or 2770 kilos pressing all around the glass. This is huge, but since my glass has a symmetric shape, most of these forces cancel each other. So far it is holding like a <laughs> For a second I thought the glass popped. Well, let's test the glass throwing my calibrated Allen wrench at it. There, this is pretty safe and solid. Now before I put my Tesla coil in the vacuum chamber, I saw the video of this guy that used the syringe and This circuit simply blows up if I run it too hot. Design a better circuit. Now I know my arcs in air look like this. Should try with something else. Now what happens if I try a syringe with vacuum? Ah, look at that! Need much less light. Let's try it again. Ah, look at that! You see it? Here we go, much closer. My syringe melted. Sealed again. Beautiful. Seems like electrons travel easier and further in vacuum. Can't get enough of this. Ah, look at that. What are the. Do <laughs> look at this. Well, there seems to be a great hope for the Tesla coil in the chamber. Imagine the whole Tesla coil glowing in there. <laughs> Always mind your body parts when working with power tools.
Okay, let's run it in vacuum. No needles this time. I want to see if the tower glows on its own. Oh, look, it's going. What was that? I don't want that. What is that on the bottom? Look at that. I don't like that, it's probably heating up the coil. I put some electrostatic bubble wrap around it to insulate it better, hopefully. There we go. It's coming out of the sharp spots of the top load. Well, I was hoping for a more magnificent glow, but hey, this is better than nothing, I suppose. Maybe the vacuum is not that great, because I can still hear the arcs. What happened to my tower? It broke in half. It seems like there has been a lot of heat and it melted or something. I guess it's time for a new tower. But let's make one last use out of it. Ow, oh, it's hot. Obviously molten. One last time using my spinning wheel. It probably won't turn much when there's a vacuum. Just a steady spin. Since it's spinning, it shows that there is still air inside. <laughs> Interesting experiment. I thought without air we wouldn't see much glow, but seems like the electrons glow on their own too. It stopped spinning. Is it out of air now? Really? Such a nice glow. The body of the wire is glowing too. Seems like the electrons are floating on its surface. Ah, f better turn it off. My tower is burning. Now let's do a minute of monetized silence to celebrate the lifetime achievement of my tower. <coughs> Do you know why the tower is melted halfway? It's because I'm an idiot. Let me show you. See, I left this length of screw inside, so it was arcing from the end of the screw to the windings and melting them. Ugh, idiot. No wonder it wasn't glowing better. Most of the energy was wasted internally. Let me see if I can cut this and do one last try. Okay, here we go. Stupid tower is arcing to itself. Oh, another lost project. Well, half lost. Some of it was running. Give away time. If it wasn't for the awesome Keysight scopes, I wouldn't be able to continuously troubleshoot this abomination. I found two more of these awesome newly released oscilloscopes that I'm gonna give away to my patrons at patreon.com. Also don't forget about Keysight's scope month. It's running till the end of March and they're giving away five of these every day. You can sign up at scopemonth.com. Also if you want to see some cool electronic projects and more knowledge on oscilloscopes, make sure to visit their channel Keysight Oscilloscopes.